Lesson 8.3, Model and Solve Addition Equations. Essential question, how can you use models to solve addition equations? You can use algebra tiles to help you find solutions of equations. Algebra tile, you have two of these. The green large tile is always going to stand for X or your variable. And the smaller tile is going to represent the number one. So if for some reason you have a different number in your equation, like the number six, you would have six tiles that are small. Just like this, just to give you an example. Okay, investigate. Materials, math board, algebra tiles. Thomas has $2. He wants to buy a poster that costs $7. Model and solve the equation x plus 2 equals 7 to find the amount x in dollars that Thomas needs to save in order to buy the poster. A. Draw two rectangles on your math board to represent the two sides of the equation. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add a page and draw it here. So you're going to draw two Each box is going to represent each side of the equation. Okay, so model and solve the equation x plus 2 equals 7. So x plus 2 is going to go on one side of the equation. 7 is going to go on the other side of the equation. Now remember... We need to use the big tile for x. Okay, so x plus two smaller tiles. I'm just going to label this x so we don't forget about it. Equals seven. So we're going to use seven small tiles. One, two, three. We drew two rectangles on the math board to represent the two sides of the equation for A. So A is done. Oops. B. Use algebra tiles to model the equation. Model x plus 2 on the left and 7 on the right. And we already have that done. What type of tiles and numbers of tiles did you use to model x plus 2? Well, we used one x tile so one x tile and then we used two one tiles c to solve the equation get the x tile by itself on one side if you remove a tile from one side you could keep the two sides equal by removing the same type of tile from the other side how many tiles how many one tiles do you need to remove from each side to get the x tile on a side all by itself? So let's look at our equation. Okay, this x tile is this one right here. Let's highlight it so we can find it better. We need to get rid of two tiles on the left-hand side to get x all by itself. So x equals, we need to remember we need to cross out the same on the other side as we did on the first side to make them always equal. So x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x equals 5 is our solution to this equation. So how many one tiles do you need to remove from each side to get the x tile on a side all by itself? So we need to remove 2. When the x tile is by itself on the left, how many one tiles are on the right side? Five. Write the solution of the equation. x equals five. So Thomas needs to save five dollars in order to buy the poster. Draw conclusions. Use appropriate tools. Describe how you could use your model to check your solution. 
So a possible answer for answer there would be use algebra tiles to model the equation, then represent the x tile with the five one tiles. If the solution is correct, both sides of the model should have the same number of one tiles. Number two, tell how you could use algebra tiles to model the equation x plus 4 equals 8. So you have to explain basically what we did in our first example. So you would place it's x plus 4 equals 8 as the equation. You would place one x tile and four one tiles on the left of the equation and four one tiles on the right. Number three, what would you do to solve the equation x plus 9 equals 12 without using a model? So x plus 9 equals 12. We need to get x on a side all by itself. So we have x plus 9. We need to do the opposite of adding. So we're going to subtract to cancel these out. So we're going to subtract 9 from both sides to get 3. So subtract... 9 from both sides. Make corrections. You can solve an equation, sorry, make connections. <laughs> That's funny. You can solve an equation by drawing a model to represent algebra tiles. Let A rectangle represent the variable. Let a small square represent 1, which is exactly um, what they did before in your example. It's basically saying let this long one be x and the little tiny one be 1. We already learned that. Okay, solve the equation. x plus 3 equals 7. Draw a model of the equation. So we need x, so we need the long one, and then we need three little ones, equals seven. So we need seven little ones. Okay. Now we have to get x on a side all by itself, so we need to take away these three one tiles. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So x equals four. So four down here, cross out, we crossed out three, and then we have four squares left. So this, you're just redrawing it. I'm not gonna probably, you can redraw it if you would like. I did it all on the first drawing because I didn't have to draw it again. Two, three, and then one, two, three. Sharon Show. Model and solve the equation by using algebra tiles or I tools. Number one, x plus five equals seven. So here we're going to subtract five from each side to get x by itself. x equals seven minus five is two. Over number two, x 8 equals x plus 1. We're going to subtract 1 from each side, and we're going to get 7 equals x, or x equals 7. Number 3, x plus 2 equals 5. We're going to subtract 2 from each side and get x equals 5 minus 2 is 3. Number 4, x plus 6 equals 8. 8 minus 6, so we're going to subtract 6 on each side 
we get x equals 2. So 8 minus 6 is 2. Number 5. 5 plus x equals 9. We're going to get x on a side all by itself. 9 minus 5 is 4. Number 6 says 5 equals 4 plus x. And we subtract 4 on each side, so we get 1 equals x. The next part is a bit different. It says solve the equation by drawing a model. So we're going to draw a model just like we did in the, in the first part. So we need know on an equation there are two sides. So on the first side, we need to have x plus 1 for number 7. So a big one and a small one equals 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? We need to subtract 1 from each side. This is just x, so I'm going to label it. We need to subtract 1 from each side to make it equal, so then x is equal to 4. Okay, the second one says 3 plus x equals 4. So 1, 2, 3 plus x equals 4. Okay, now we need to get this x, this big block on a side all by itself, so we're going to mark out or subtract three squares from that side. And it's an equation, so we have to do the same thing for the other side, so x is going to equal 1. Number 9. 6 equals x plus 4. So 6 needs to be on one side, 6 little 1 tiles one big tile for x, and then one, two, three, four. Okay? One, two, three, four. We need to cross out on each side to get x all by itself, so x is equal to two. Eight equals two plus, so eight is going to be on a side all by itself. And this is x for the big tile. There are two other tiles on that side that we need to get rid of. We need to subtract. And we're going to subtract the same number on the other side. So x is going to be equal to 6 there. Moving on to number 11. Describe a method. Describe how you would draw a model to solve the equation x plus 5 equals 10. So I would draw... one x tile and five one tiles on one side and ten one tiles on the other. Then I would cross five one tiles off on each side. So the solution would be x equals 